Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me today is Kelly Witt. She's from the Fitchburg Public Library in the Youth Services Department. Kelly, welcome back to the show. Hi. Happy Thanksgiving. How are you doing today? Great. How are you? I am wonderful. Great. 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 Uh, I first want to know, um, what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? My family. Your family? Yes. I feel like you should be more specific. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, kidding, kidding. <laughs> I'm also grateful uh, for my family, friends. And food. And food. Woo. Let's eat. All right. Uh, we are uh, doing crafts. That's why Kelly's here. And these crafts are something that you can do with the kiddos uh, either before Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And uh, what I like uh, with Kelly here is she always brings stuff that you may have at home. This one might be a little bit more tricky, but um, I mean, I guess I don't have beads at home, but I could You have get little some. ones yet. Yeah, I don't like anything little. They yeah. tend to eat them, so darn kids. Should we go? What are we doing? Okay, we're making a pumpkin bracelet. I'm uh, demonstrating this right here on uh, camera three, and it's a beautiful pumpkin. It is fantabulous. And I think me and Jeremy decided that we were going to have a race. Excuse me? <clears throat> a race to who you could create. You didn't tell me it was going to be a race. This is news the to me. The best pumpkin bracelet, the fastest. Ready, set, go. Oh, man. You know, we could have cued that music. I mean, just saying. So it's been a good year for crafts. What are uh, some of the most memorable uh, crafts uh, that you guys did this year as we put this together? Oh, putting me on the spot here. Darn right I am. Um, Distract you from your uh, goal here. I like... <laughs> Uh, anytime there, uh, what? Throwing paint at, like, this mat and, like, paintball things, and they exploded, and it was awesome. <laughs> there w that happened. In the library, not outside? Not outside. Wowza. Outside. Uh, I liked um, egg drop. It's not really a craft, but it kind of Well, you got to make it first, yeah. right? The egg drops are always so fun. Mm-hmm. Um, do you uh, do you still do the uh, thousand books? Yes, we still do a thousand books. We encourage everyone to read to their children. Thousand and that books. counts to their thousand, right? What does reading uh, reading books to your kids does yeah. that count as a thousand? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. How are you already done? Well, it just had to fit my wrist. So then you twist it. Mm -hmm. And you put a few green beads on the top for the stem. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I should have explained it, but I wanted to win. <laughs> Folks, she, uh, she said nothing about a race before we started today. <laughs> so uh, she had that in her, in her mind before we got going here. And, you know, I'm, I'm a little bummed. Done. Mine might not fit my <laughs> wrist. <laughs> I'm the winner! Okay, okay. So we could do these with different colors, certainly. Uh, yes. If we wanted to add to it, could we do another, like, inside one? Like, you could have a, like, double bracelet. I mean, there's so many different uh, you alterations. You could make a bracelet. You could make, like, bracelets filling up your arm. You could make a bracelet for everyone in your family that you love and hand them out at Thanksgiving. It's a pretty good idea. I just thought of that. You just thought. Actually, I just made this for her family. <laughs> All of these are going to her family. We just don't know it yet. Uh, age group for this uh, specific craft today, would, would you recommend? I would say a little bit older once they stop eating things. So probably three. Three. Yes, once they have enough fine motor skills to get the bead on to the pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaners are a little bit easier to manipulate than string, because string just kind of like flops around, but a pipe cleaner stays stiff. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and uh, certainly we've done uh, plenty of crafts this uh, Thanksgiving. You can go back and check those out online. Um, uh, even if you want to come up with your own little craft, just something to do uh, for Thanksgiving. Do you have any ideas quickly for what you could do uh, for uh, I'm Thankful? type of thing like if you were going to have the kids write something or draw something i'm thankful for 
and then uh, they could fill it in and like any ideas on that front actually right now at the library we have an i'm thankful bulletin board and every kid has like a little leaf that they cut out and they write on there what they're thankful for and we put it up on the bulletin board um, and that's something that you could also do like around the dinner table you could have a leaf that you cut out and put what you're thankful for or pre-cut out some leaves as the adults and everyone even the adults could write what they're thankful for and you guys could read their leaves help the little ones with what they're thankful for i helped my two-year-old write what he was thankful for and he wrote baby shark <laughs> so he was very thankful for baby shark <laughs> that's awesome well great ideas go down to the library uh folks want to get in touch with uh you and the activities happening story time crafts books and more how can we do that you can come directly down to the library to the children's desk you can go online to check out our event calendar um you could check out our facebook page or you could give us a call fantastic and i'm sure you've got some great uh, crafts lined up uh, as we get into uh the holiday season yes we right. do yeah fantastic all right kelly witt best crafter i know because she's the only one i know huh. all right uh, i'll take a quick break We'll be right back. You're watching Talking Pittsburgh.